kindness you have poured out grace you brought me out of darkness you have filled me with peace giver of mercy you're my help in time Thanks for sharing the song with us. Uh, man, this is such a great song uh, for a church to sing. Mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of different times now, uh, even though the song is pretty new, of just congregations singing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, it's such a powerful statement of faith. And Chris, I want to start with you because I think it's always interesting. Like, you're a great songwriter, and, and, but every now and then you find these songs and you sort of like, you know, you connect to them. And you're like, man, I can, 
I can champion that or I can right. carry that song. And uh, just talk about this song and what was it in it that really kind of just really piqued your interest and felt like something you wanted to sing about. Yeah, I loved, I loved when I first heard the chorus, immediately heard the chorus. I was like, wow, this is really special. It's off, obviously it's off House Fire's newest, newest album. And uh, Chris here was part of writing this song and um, with a couple other guys. And, you know, like you said, when I, when I hear a song that is special, you know, and one of those I wish I'd have written, I always like, man, can I record that? You know, and obviously I had this project coming up. And so um, reached out to the guys and said, you guys, cool if I uh, record this. Um, um, I've already recorded one of your other ones, Good Good Father, and uh, <laughs> so can I record this one too? Because it's just, they're doing some great things, and I, I just love what's coming out of there. And but I love this song, uh, Yes and Amen, and the, instantly it was the chorus, you know, and I love the scripture, and it's in uh, Corinthians. And as a worship leader, you know, it's beautiful to like, when you're teaching, when you're, when you're singing songs, and you're singing straight to scripture, you know, mm -hmm. maybe people don't even know it. And especially a, a lyric like, all your promises are yes and amen. Uh, I, that comes across in this, if it, something in you rises up, like that is awesome. I'm not sure what that means, but that, is, but, <laughs> but that is awesome. Could that be true? Yeah, could that, is, is that really true? And then you look in Corinthians, in, in 2 Corinthians 1, and it's so powerful. And it says, uh, for 1 verse 20, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. Wow. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. And I mean, that is amazing. I mean, maybe even before you lead this song, that's all you need to say is walk up with this scripture and say all the promises of God are yes in Jesus. Everything that God's promised, as Jesus has fulfilled, he's, he's brought that and made that. Um, and that's, what, that's the faith that we're singing. I love songs that, you know, cause faith to rise up in you when you sing them. And that's, and that, this is one of those. And it's such a simple song, you know, uh, to sing. And I feel like it's one of those, the first time you hear the chorus, I mean, you're, you're in it halfway through. You're yeah. like, I'm already singing this. It's such a beautiful, singable, accessible to anybody kind of melody. Yeah. And Chris, I love that chorus in there. I mean, it's faithful you are, faithful forever you will be. Um, talk about just this, this idea. And we were even talking beforehand of like how cool that scripture is and that if the yes is, if, if God's promises are yes right. in Jesus, then the people yeah, say the amen. Saying amen. Yeah. And man, what a great <laughs> thing of just like for a church. It's like we acknowledge that everything is yes. God's promises are yes in Jesus. And then we're right. going to Yeah, I mean, I think exactly what we were talking about. Sometimes it's like, does, is God really on my side? And uh, something about just singing scripture that reminds yourself, not so much that we need to keep singing it to God, but something about saying it over and over mm -hmm. is this like, uh, mental reminder and you start to believe the words that you're singing like maybe you come to church on Sunday morning and you just you've had a bad week you know and you're starting you're going you know well, I, I don't know if I've seen any promise but the more you sing it the more you start to see it and realize that it's happening around you all the time and, mm. um, because he is faithful and he's always faithful and even through the hard times and the bummer days and uh, this I mean this chorus was such a I, I just like to say it appeared like uh, Nate brought um, Nate from House Fires brought a verse and uh, played it for me, and he's like, "What well, you know? Where should it go?" And then this chorus just happened. I mean, it probably took like two minutes. It was just like, wow. and not all songs are like. But sometimes you're like months of trying to make something work. But this, you know, I don't want to say it came from God because I don't know if it's that good. But I do feel <laughs> like it was at least inspired in yeah. part. So, um, yeah, it, yeah. And I think, you know, just if we, I think sometimes I know for me, it's like you forget all the promises that are in Scripture. Mm -hmm. and, but when you really go back and you start looking at the promises of God, and so if they're all yes in Jesus, I mean, you look back and, and you know, you're not going to be overcome. You're not going to be overwhelmed. Right. You know, uh, you're going to have provision for your life, you know. Right. And it's just um, in any circumstance that we're in, I mean, this is a song of victory, really, for God's mm -hmm. people to sing and say, yeah. you know what, all these promises in Scripture are going to come to pass. Yes, yeah, the simple bridge says it all. I will rest in your promises. Yeah. My confidence is your faithfulness. And man, we can just sing that over yeah. and over and over <laughs> in church. I, I love that. I will rest in your promises. My confidence. When I lose my confidence, when I lose what, what my way, man, my confidence is in your faithfulness. Sure, it isn't in mine, sure, but right. it's in the faithfulness of God. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, Chris, walk us through just chord wise. Um, what you guys are playing yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, uh, 
simple, uh, four chords that uh, really kind of just, that progression just keeps moving through the whole song. And I love that. I love that about it. That's why I feel like it is, that's why I wanted to sing it. Honestly, one of the reasons is because, wow, I mean, anybody can play this song and any church can play this song immediately. Just kind of fall into this, this little progression. It's in D and we're in D and it starts on the A chord to B minor, G, D. I mean, just pretty much stay there. There's a little bit of change, but that's all you gotta know, really. Right. And uh, that's the verses. So imagine if faith says, Father of kindness brought me near. So it's just, a, you see how that feels. Oh, then A, sorry. So there's a, little, there's, a, there's a few little changes. So there's sometimes it gets off that, that progression, but those are the four chords you need to know. A, B minor, G, D. And then, faithful you are. 